is now underway on one side. You have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he keeps up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Felder. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. All right, he engages in the single collar ties. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's gonna fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Hands up, hands up. Just misses with the right. Takedown lands. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Just over three minutes to go. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Big kick. All right, single collar tie now. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. And both guys really throwing with authority. Choi's kick attempt, that one was blocked. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he misses with the left punch there. Nice straight punch. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Ball straight to the body by Choi. Nice punch lands over the top. Single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Felder. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he has certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Oh, that's a beautiful left-hand count. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. 30 seconds now to go in round one. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, nice jab. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. 
That was a thudding leg kick. Second right round, straight ahead. One more, one more, one more. Right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, DC, second round is getting yeah, underway. Right, right, right. Round one, not the round of the year so necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Just out of range with that strike. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Nice one-two there. That strike blocked by Phil. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. What a punch. Very nice leg kick there by Felder. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. To well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from his position. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Felder's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Just misses there with the left. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown. He is certainly trying to wrestle offensively tonight, but that attempt did not work. We knew we'd see a commitment to trying to secure those takedowns. We did not anticipate him having to take this many attempts. How long until he gets discouraged? Ooh, what a punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand. Just out of it. Oh, and even Ari rolled right into a heel hook attempt, or so it looks. Man, this is flashy, but certainly effective here tonight. Let's see if he can close the show from here. Then he's out. Just out of range with that right hand. Unable to land with that punch. Another big beat now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. 
All right, he's very comfortable fighting off this back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown. He just waited for one second, and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Choi. Round three next. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining right. rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happened when you get very skilled, very match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Nice leg kick. Oh, that's a good strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Chor. Felder's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Swing and a big miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice wow. land. Actually got the takedown. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Beautiful strike. Oh, collar tie. Good body shot. Just missed with the left there. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice punch by Choi. Liver kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Ooh, what a head kick. Double jab there by Felder. Stay on him. 
good punch lands. Real nice body kick lands. Misses with the right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good kicks there by Short. Oh, and he continues to stuff these takedown attempts. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh! Another clinch position. Oh, just misses with the kick. Spinning back, this is there. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Try to establish that jab. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Excellent work with those strikes. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice punch lands. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. It's tight to behold. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Body shot after body shot. He keeps landing these strikes. Really zapping the gas tank of his opponent. Nice punch lands over the top. And they separate. That's a really strong leg kick there by Felton. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Effective strike there by Felder. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Felder gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Straight right, he misses. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round number four. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Felder gets caught with that punch. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Got the single collar tie. Left hand punch. The Back and forth we go! DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. 
Back to the feet now. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. The right hand just misses. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. And they separate. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, that's a nice strike. He's just out of range with the big right hand. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high punch. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, side control now. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Side control. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away right, to right. try to escape exactly. this very, very dangerous position. So there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger nice round, because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the just heard him, he just heard him. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right times to land those strikes. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landed. Oh, man, look at that picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. with that jab attempt there. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Great punch landing with so much power. Under three minutes now to go round five. How about that shin? All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC. And He's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back. There's the shot. There's the takedown by Felder. All right, he's very comfortable.
comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Strong lot of work here, staying busy. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the armbar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Both fighters back to their feet now. Punch over the top. Under a minute now to go in this one. Head kick lands. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, that lead right will work. Nicely done there by Phil. Just misses with the jab there. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Punch. 20 seconds to go in the fight. This could change the fight. Another takedown land. Final seconds of this fight. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl. Do Chong. All right, so there he is, the celebration.